Hey guys, Happy Camper here, and today we're going to check out a mod Farmer 3. This mod is called the US Air Force mod. It brings a lot of aircrafts, uh, both rotary jets and uh, transport aircrafts, to this mod. Um, but we're going to take a look at this beauty, the A10C um, Thunderbolt, pretty well known in the US Air Force, and then the F16, of course. These two jets are just two of the jets that's in here. We've got um, two other jets as well. We've got the F-35A and the F-A-22 Raptor. Um, basically, I'm going to take these for a test fly. Uh, check out, you know, what they're good at. Of course, the uh, F-16 is uh, a multi-purpose, a multi-role jet. So that's both going to do CAS and keep our superiority. So keep the, the skies clear. We've got the A-10 which is uh, of course mainly for cars. So first of all, we're going to check out the F-16. Um, this jet is in use by the US Air Force obviously, and it's used by uh, a lot of other Air Forces from around the world. Um, for example, the Norwegian Air Force, the Danish Air Force, and the Dutch Air Force. Um, very nice jet. Uh, it's, it's kind of outdated now, and a lot of the Air Forces around the world are, are finding new jets. Uh, to replace this one, but nevertheless it's still a very nice jet. So first we can uh, check out the surface menu. There's uh, four buttons, the paint scheme, the options menu, and the pilot's manual. They don't work at the moment because they're work in progress. Um, that's because this uh, mod is of course not final product, it's only in version 0.4 I believe. Um, so it's got a lot more to come uh, before it gets fully released as a fully done mod. But the arming menu works, which is quite nice. So I'm not going to carry a drop tank. Um, I carry just a standard, except I'm going to switch this out for the AGM 65D. But as you can see, there's a lot of different weaponry you can get for it. He has a bunch of bombs, a bunch of uh, air to ground missiles, a bunch of uh, air to air missiles. That's pretty much it. The drop tank, I found it doesn't really work properly. At least I don't know the key for how to release it. Uh, just of yet, but that's probably something he's gonna uh, bring in obviously when this mod gets updated even more Alright, rearming complete Now we can taxi onto the runway and, uh, and take off One thing I have noticed with this jet the flaps So you can see now the flaps are up all the way, but they look like they're all down So when I switch them to down, which I'm gonna do for the takeoff, it doesn't change whatsoever So uh, that's something that needs fixing but again, it's not com it's not final product yet. All right, so let's uh, let's take off. After been on, and it should just shoot up. This runway is a bit rubbly. That's not this jet that does that on all the runways on any other map. It's just fine. It's just this map. That's a bit weird. All right, gear up. Get a bit of speed, and then we can uh, put the flaps up. Very nice. So you can see it's a very nice jet. It flies pretty well. It's uh, it's not one of them jets I can do extremely tight turns uh, like I've seen some other mods add, which is that's quite nice at least. Um, so you got my rendering distance all the way up. It doesn't look that pretty when I'm flying down low, but believe me, when I get up in higher heights and I and I look down on to everything else, it looks darn pretty. Um, let's quickly check out the weaponry. It's of course got the um, M61A2. Cannon. This is a 20 millimeter cannon. It's a Vulcan. Some of you might know it from uh, other jets and uh, stuff like that. It's a quite known weapon. Right, so we got our target straight in front. Uh, it's quite far off, so I'm going to switch to the aim 120s. That's radar guided missiles. You can see there's a green square on my uh, on my HUD here. Straight in front here. Got to see if I can lock on. I right, see. I've got quite a lot closer now. I'll break off slightly. I'm going to switch to the uh, Aim 9 Xs, which is Sidewinders. They are a lot better for these uh, close-up attacks. Alright, so I'm uh, going to line up here, see if I can get a lock. Yep. And I'm uh, going to fire a missile. Let's see. Alright, so that's a splash. Looks like a uh, pilot ejected. Yeah, it looks like it's just flying by itself now. Pilot ejected by the looks of things. Very nice. You can see there, the M9X, it's uh, pretty good. 
this is just in the standard CSAT jets. Uh, if you want some proper dogfights, you could probably install a, a mod like the SU-35 Flanker, I believe. Which is just a, a quite nice jet. I will give it another shot here. Very nice. Now it's definitely destroyed. So I'm thinking I'm going to fly a bit around here, burn some fuel, and then uh, I'll fly down south again, and I'll refuel at the tanker that this uh, this mod uses. This is a KC-135 Stratro tanker. I just marked it's flying at 1,000 meters at a speed of 221 kilometers an hour. That's a bit slow for someone out there F-16 when it needs to refuel, but someone out there A-10 around 200 is uh, pretty perfect. Alright, so now we uh, have got the Stratotanker tanker here. It's going to do some turns here, so I'm just going to uh, do an orbit around here. I'm going to turn the after bit off though. I'm going to open my refueling hatch. There we go. I'm going to uh, request refuel. Alright, so it is extending the probe. We're putting it down. And there it goes extended. So yep, permission granted. Right, so I'm gonna go down alone here. Gonna pull in under it. And on the F sixteen there, uh, the refueling hatch is um behind the cockpit above. So what I need to do is uh bring this uh probe here behind the cockpit. There we go. Well this one it locks on when you're within certain range. You can edit that in the file actually, so you can edit so you actually need to be right on top of it almost. But, of course what they do in real life is uh, they uh, they steer it with the fins that's on the back, the small rings you can see, it says ARW and 22nd. They, they can actually steer them so it can kind of steer itself into the hole. Alright, so when you want to stop refueling, you just close the refueling hatch you feeling complete, good luck. And then you can uh, fly out. That's pretty much it. This is a very nice system. Uh, looks really nice. It's uh, And it works really good. Alright, so now we are back. Almost at the airfield. Gonna form up on this line I've got here. Um, this line is pretty useful. It follows you in through the mountains. Um, into the actual landing strip. I believe I just need to follow this, uh, this valley down, and then that should be it. Yep, looks like it. And you see, I can see the airfield here. So I'm just gonna follow it down, and uh, let's see. Got the afterburn off. Gonna put the flaps down here. This is a this is a fun approach to the um, to the airfield. You could come in from the other way, but that's a bit more simple and not as fun. Uh, so I'm gonna put my gear down, and then um, this you'll need to do is quite a tight turn at the end here. So wouldn't recommend slowing down too much until you actually get that turn done. So I'd like to kind of fly a bit over this hill, just so you don't have to do it as sharp of a turn. And just do the turn and bleed off the rest of the speed, kind of. There we go. We are on the ground. Very nice. Alright, so... Now, let's take a look at the A-10... Um, C, Thunderbolt. Alright, so... Here we've got the A10, A10C Thunderbolt, um, Thunderbolt 2, sorry. So, right here, alright, one thing I like about this, you can cycle the different, the two screens, the uh, MFCDs. So the left one, I like to have that set to the weapon, the weapon system, and the right one just to the DTS upload. Um, not really... That one's not really useful, and don't even think you can use a... Uh... No, that's not useful either, that isn't. 
Right, anyways, you got the GAU-8, the 30mm cannon, obviously. That is what this this jet is known for. Massive round, great fire rate, sick. Alright, GBU-12, uh, pathway, 2. I think that was uh, 3 in the middle right there. Got the AGM-65D IRR, that's the one, that's the right ones over here. I said lace, I'm pretty sure they've got to be the ones. Uh, oh, that's the lasers. Alright, and the other IRR, that's uh, the green ones here. You got the Mark 82, that's the two in the middle there. Oh, the, not the two in the middle. The three on either side of the ring. Um, that look the same. And of course, aim 9 xs that we looked at on the right wing. Hydro missiles. This is a 70mm uh, Hydra. The same as us on the H6 Little Bird armed and stuff like that. Pretty nice. Alright, so let's have a look at the service menu. These are still a work in progress as well, even though it doesn't say WIP. Uh, you can't press on them. Um, Rapid Station 6, you can't actually get anything there. Uh, that's basically the 30mm GAU-8 here. Alright, so NL Q thing with your key, that's the laser thing with your key. Um, got the AIM 9 M's, which is actually the AIM 9 X's. Got the 19 round Hydra 70. And the same on this side. Mark 82's. These were Mark 82's times 3, both of them. Then GBU 82 times 3 and GBU 82 times 3. There we go. So now it is rearming. You can see it removes everything and puts them on again. Alright, so rearming complete. Let's taxi onto the runway. So you can see he's got a pretty good inter interface as well. It doesn't have any uh, helmet mounted display as the uh, F 16 did. And again, it's not the jet that's bouncing, it's because uh, it's of the runway and the taxiway on the spot. Alright. On this jet there's no afterburner either, so uh, you have to live without that. Well, then again, it can take off at quite high speed. I believe the flaps, they do work on this one. Yep, indeed, indeed they do. So that is nice. Alright, let's take off. This can take off at uh, around 150 km an hour. Um, well, that's alright. Alright, so this thing it takes a lot more time to... Uh, speed up so I'm gonna keep the flaps up for now since we're gonna have to gain and we're gonna keep it on the second setting since we're gonna gain some altitude here so I'm thinking this is obviously a jet um, for cars so let's uh, provide some cars on some Taliban down in the town here so uh, I we have got no GBU 12s that's not good uh, we'll do without. Alright, we'll do some Mark 82s and see if we can get them on target. Alright, let's get down a bit steep angle. Alright, here we go. Bombs away. Bombs away. Bombs away. Bombs away. These might hit short because I'm not that experienced in the um, Mark 82s. Yeah, one of them hit short. Like that. They hit kind of on target, I guess. Um, I kind of tried to spread them out so I at least got something on target. That kind of worked. See there, fired a lot of bullets off then. The flares are quite sexy on this one as well. Alright, so I have now uh, flown back to the stretcher tanker here and uh, 
rough up on it, farm up on it, and it should be cool. And there we go, so now I'm flying the same speed as it. I'm going to open the refueling hatch. I'm going to request refuel. On this, on the A10, the refueling hatch is out the front here. Just in front of the cockpit, so uh, that's alright, it's a bit easier to guide it in. You also have extended it. There we go. You're cl I am clear to do it. So I'm going to slow down slightly here a bit more so I can get underneath it and behind it. So there it goes, it just locks on. And again, could be a lot more smooth. Um, but as you can see, it's alright. It's uh, pretty good. Thank you guys very much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little video of uh, showing off the two current jets in use in the US Air Force. They are assigned to switch over to the F-35A and the F-A-22 Raptor which both are in the same mud. So if you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like. If you want to see more Armour 3 content mainly, um, make sure to subscribe.